Now we're going to demonstrate a couple of more complicated fighting techniques that might have been used by ancient Greek hoplites. I want to specify before we do this that this technique comes from Morazzo, 1520. It's a Renaissance technique, but we know it was used in combat and it works very well. The important thing is to watch that the spear can also be used for defense. Let's have a look. As my opponent thrusts at me, I can parry with my spear. And the idea behind this is most probably my opponent is aiming for my leg anyway, and I can use the spear to parry. And what Morazzo shows us is that I can use the spear to parry and kill my opponent with the butt spike under his helmet. Pretty nifty, eh? It's also useful to remember that as we close, we only have a single instant that we're actually fighting like this. This isn't the normal hoplite fight. The normal hoplite fight is going to be here, and it's going to become closer and pressier and closer. So there's not a lot of time for martial arts unless we end up wrestling. So we've closed into the press, and I can no longer easily reach my opponent with my spear, or my spear is broken. that we can do other kinds of techniques. For instance, if I can hook his shield, I can use a basic martial arts technique to throw him to the ground. If, if I can get to my sword, see how the sword appeared from under the shield? Can you see it against his leg? He's vulnerable, or if he goes down, I can come over. In the close press, the very small Greek sword is the most useful weapon of all. It is a wrestling sword, not a fencing sword.